Hello friends, in this video, we will be learning about adopt as chain. In English language, adopt is a synonym of the word impromptu. So, as the name suggests, it is an informal and unstructured way of testing a new application. The main aim of adopt as chain is to uncover the defects which are otherwise not found by following the normal testing process. Let us first learn about what actually adopt testing means. Ad hoc testing is a type of testing which is performed without any planning and documentation. It is unstructured, unplanned and informal testing. We perform this after following the formal testing processes. In order to break the system and find the defect which might not get caught by the following usual testing approach. Let us now look at some of the features of ad hoc testing. It is unplanned and unstructured. No planning is required for performing ad hoc testing. It does not require any documentation or formal test case execution. We usually perform this after the completion of formal test case execution. Let us now understand ad hoc testing through an example. Till now, we have understood that ad hoc testing is an unstructured and non-methodical way of testing. Let us now understand this topic with a real life example. Suppose you are testing an e-commerce application. You have meticulously designed test cases with you that validate the different requirements. Now if you choose to perform ad hoc testing, you will try to break the system or find anomalies by following the unconventional methods. Example, instead of following the direct steps of add to cart, checkout, make payment, you copy the URL of an old checkout page and try to proceed with that. Or Try to perform some other ad hoc operations. In this way, there are chances that you might uncover a potentially security issue. Now, let us see what are the types of ad hoc testing. First, monkey testing. Monkey testing is a type of testing that is performed with the intent to break the system. The tester performs this by passing random input and following random workflows. Second is buddy testing. Body testing is a type of testing in which a developer and a tester work together to test the application, thus improving the testing process with the developer's internal architecture knowledge and testing mindset of the tester. Pair testing. In the case of pair testing, two testers work together to perform testing with wider and better test coverage. One tester can perform testing and the other tester can observe and analyze the testing process. Let us look at some of the advantages of ad hoc testing. Since there is no mandate of following any test process, the tester can find hidden defects. These type of defects which would otherwise get missed by following the conventional testing approach. Techniques like body testing, pair testing, improve test coverage with the use of different mindsets of QA, QA and QA developer pairs during testing. It takes very little time to execute as there is no planning and formal documentation of testing artifacts. Just like the advantage of ad hoc testing, there are few disadvantages of ad hoc testing as well. So let us talk about them. Since it is ad hoc and doesn't follow any structure, the bugs even if found are very hard to reproduce. We cannot trace the requirements or check the test coverage as there is no traceability matrix or any documentation for that matter. The efficiency of testing is dependent on the skill of the tester as well as the prior knowledge of the system. It is because of the fact that ad hoc testing requires a lot of error guessing which requires skills and prior knowledge. Some of the best practices of ad hoc testing. First, build expertise. It is always advisable to get the whole process rechecked by someone with experience. A person of experience will be more intuitive regarding bugs in the software and where to find them. Experience definitely brings an edge to the whole process. Second is business knowledge. Good business knowledge and a clear understanding of the requirements are what make the whole execution of testing process easy and successful. And the last one is the identification of defect prone areas. Some features or parts of software tend to be used more than the others and mostly 
these areas are where most defects tend to be found. Therefore, a, no a fair knowledge of defect-prone areas should be present to detect and rectify the bugs.